previously on Great Apes Cafe. I'm happy you asked that question. No, no, answer it, Bob. Please I'm answer a, I'm it. The, I'm, I'm about, the, on a macro <laughs> level, I'm going to I'm 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 speed this up. On a macro level, it's this. On a I'm macro sorry. level, is this. Bro, you keep this saying on a macro level that this <laughs> isn't a topic that can be applied to a... Like I just said, it's not the a great debater. thing that you can apply no, to no, everyone. You can, it's a, on a no, macro, you can. It's a very personal <laughs> thing. It's you very cannot, personal, but no, when you look, it is at, not, it's when you not, look it's through not, the lens of macronism, yeah, it's definitely... Have you, have you ever been hospitalized? Have you ever been on yeah, antidepressants? No, no, no. Oh, but oh, just because, okay. this got, this is just a, because you got put on antidepressants, that's necessarily no, mean but, that I can't speak on but it. you, how do you know if I was a depressant? or not? You of all people should know that depression is a very personal thing. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I want to disagree. It's not tangible. It's not very tangible. Cut it. If I yeah. Like, depression what? is not be... macro it is it a is... personal thing but it is and macro no that's why they require a psychologist to talk to you and uh, but, so you, you so you don't think everybody when it comes to covid you don't think nobody's depressed covid that. is not a mental illness it's it not a, a mental illness it is no, a it's virus not, but it when you're virus. stuck in your house but, with uh, the same people for okay. months oh, 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 if you Bro, and credits. you have depression, are you two gonna have the same solution to solve it? No. No. So how can you make a macro statement? Because about we still it? had depression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was two separate paths. Of course, not I can. Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? Can I talk? We but can what? ask these fucking that's, stupid that's, ass that's, questions that's all questions? day. Absolutely. There will be no fucking answer. This. <laughs> Some people can't handle pain. There is no Your macro is point of view. Your host does not know what the fuck he's talking about. That's it. Period. Niggas mad. Oh, no, no. Period, period, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, oh, I, I, I don't think so. Boy, I don't think so. Boy, I don't think so. Boy, I don't think so. 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 Cafe, and we're gonna start this. We're gonna start this with the redemption. I have my homeboy back. <laughs> yeah, you remember that part, the situation where you wanted to fight? Yeah, I brought him back. Not off the dark. Liquor. Everybody thought, you know, Tim, why you brought him back? Oh, you should do that. But that's the reason why I made the podcast. We need to have an open discussion. When we have differences, yes, we can still come together and talk like civilized human beings. Anyway, my name is Timothy Raw. Well, my name's Colin. My name's Adele. I am Ted, and I'm half smack this time. <laughs> I'm Casey. Mic check on who? Ted? Me? My mic check, check, check. Microphone check. check, check. And we're going to hey. talk about, we're going to dive into the situation. So we started yesterday, or yesterday. It seemed like yesterday, right? Two days ago. 48 hours ago. Ooh. We're going to start with the situation that occurred. With my friend, Mr. Colin, he got upset <laughs> based on... Uh, what well, we both agree on mis yeah. miscommunication. Macro. Oh, no, macro um, point of view. <laughs> from the macro. macro. Yeah. <laughs> and and the thing about it is, I'm gonna let him start it off, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close that chapter. But how do you feel about that situation, first of all, about everything that occurred? <clears throat> I mean, like we talked about, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was drinking. I could see. Yeah. Me, okay. Yeah. That's one thing. Is like, <clears throat> if I'm just drinking beer, like. Uh, I'm going to be, like, really, really friendly. But, like, as soon as Aaron handed me that cup with the, the dark liquor in it, bro, it's, like, all bets are off. <laughs> uh, especially in the sense that, like, instead of it going one in one ear and out the other, it just doesn't go in one ear at all. <laughs> like, off the dark liquor. Like, out. Right, 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 right. Makes and, sense. um... Yeah, I'll so get like, close, close, oh, my bad. You're good, you're good, you're good. That's definitely, I feel like, where the miscommunication came in. But, like... I mean, if you want to explain what exactly it was. On a macro point of view. On a, on a macro. Yeah, on a macro point of view. <laughs> My friend told, so on a macro point of view, <laughs> <laughs> I felt like um, it was just really just miscommunication, honestly. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people got 
they got upset at how <laughs> Colin was acting. And I'm like, I'm, I was just paying attention, you know? And um, I do remember hearing that he enjoyed the art of debating. And um, I realized he was drinking alcohol. Mm-hmm. Um, granted, I wasn't paying attention to the fact that he was drinking alcohol. I was paying attention to what he was saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck the podcast. But I'm like, hey. And the fingers, you know, when white people do the finger shit, they get serious. No offense. No offense. <laughs> but, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> when you do the finger, you get up. It's like, wait a minute. Well, like- <laughs> yeah. But, but. The, the on a macro point of view, it was that serious. <clears throat> yeah, because I could easily become. <clears throat> what what do humans solve if you actually bring the same energy that he was bringing? I mean, can you imagine if I be mad too and you start just bickering like a bubbling band of baboons? Nah, that's not emotion. It's not emotion. It's not really a real debate because the debate you can't be let the emotions yeah. get to you. You know exactly. So I I said you know what, I'm not gonna get mad. I'm you know, and I let him vent a little bit. And then when he came to the, the understanding, when we became resolute or had a resolution, we was like, oh, okay. Oh, wait, there's also another, Um, there's just a disclaimer. I've been like trying to wean off nicotine and I just oh, stopped, I just stopped <laughs> smoking oh, weed fuck, and like no. just cut down on my alcohol intake a lot. Oh, hell no. So like, I hell mean, no. my girlfriend says the same thing, like, I, I've just been like a little bitch the past few <laughs> days. My nigga, that shit honest. happened to me this morning, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, Dead shout ass. out to Newport. Shout y'all, out. Y'all find me. I'll take it. But goddamn, I fucking, I ain't have no six this morning. It was yeah, like three bro. hours, bro. That nigga and I was like, bro, like Newport's is like the strongest cigarettes you can, huh. bro. Within a couple of hours, you're done. Like, if I don't smoke one in the morning, like at yeah, least bro. a couple of puffs, like, I'd be like drowsy you, you and I'd be like foggy pissed. too. Like I tried bruh, to quit I got six. an argument with her <laughs> over stupid shit, bro. Like, Cause like I'm going to smoke <laughs> you. And I was like, I, was, I literally so bruh, shocked I, I couldn't. Out. I smoked a cigarette and I was like, Damn. yo, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, that, bro, the first time I ever tried to quit nicotine, my mind was so foggy. I was uh, I was driving and I almost like murked a family of three like shit. walking across because I just shit. Bro, like I was looking like I wasn't texting or anything Damn. I just like did not see them and like when I mm-hmm. I mean like obviously I didn't hit them and like they didn't really even notice I don't think but like they noticed not <laughs> yeah. and like another thing with, with like us arguing is like I don't know I feel like you and I are definitely the type of people that can get in a very heated argument and like not take it personally. You can't. Yeah, because like, what is that? So I people, guess I I did start taking it personal because it's like a but personal the issue is for created, me. The alcohol yeah. is what created the personal. Like after after mm-hmm. we were like, I like after it was over, I was like, okay, it's straight. Oh like, yeah, oh yeah, it was the alcohol. Yeah. I, I feel like it was the alcohol for sure. Um, I think everybody at the table. I can't speak for everybody, but I can say that everybody here has emotional intelligence. It's just when somebody is able to accept what's going on to separate the emotions from a situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But when you involve alcohol, well, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's it changes money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it changes everything. Alcohol always changes everything. You just imagine the times when you drunk some alcohol. Leave a comment. <clears throat> let you know. Let me know. So, mm. but I forgive you. <laughs> It'll go back. I'm a, and that's the, look. The thing is, when you have a podcast and somebody disagrees, for me, I like that. I like. I low key like conflict, and I know like wait, wait, what you mean? What you mean? Because I feel like when there's conflict, you can still have resolution. Yeah, for sure. How how do you obtain resolution? How do you get there? And like a relationship it, grows stronger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All too, my friends, you like understand each my other. My producer better. on the show, I beat his ass when we was in elementary school. I mean, granted, his brother beat my ass before. You know, you shouldn't have called me an ugly Kelly. What? What? That shit? Oh fuck it, yo. Yeah, ugly wait, Kelly yo. Price. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but that's fam. Like, you know, only I could beat my producer and you can't beat his ass. And you know who you are. But anyway, um, but nah, man, it's all, it's hey, all DJ respect, Barbarian for I can't, the whole time. I can't hold a grudge on an argument. It's just, yeah, it was substance. Dumb, it was bro. information. That was called adultery right was, there, bro. It was passion. Some of y'all need to learn about that. That's yeah. not what adultery Dude. means. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying the fact yes. that they had a disagreement. Yeah, but like adultery the is like cheating. Like like cheating. Like, I mean, probably isn't that like cheating, <laughs> cheating on your spouse? Yeah, 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 yeah. Adultery, I'm not about adultery. That. I'm not about yeah. the cosign. I can't adultery go. Okay, like, I wasn't. Oh, bro, I'm from the hood. Bro. Whatever it sounds like. That's what bro. it's called being an, an adult. On a macro point of view, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know for future. So just use. the fact that they fucking. He about to be like, yo, I'm all about that adultery. How do you feel about this? Let me interject real quick. How do you feel about all of this that's going on right now? 
Because my homeboy didn't say anything. Y'all know this. <laughs> that nigga, we yeah. were here whole time. Yeah, yeah. So he, fact, he, fact. He kinda, so, did you even introduce yourself, bro? I did. Oh, word. Okay. I my bad. Um, I don't know. I think adultery is great. <laughs> 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 great. <laughs> Like oh, being sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. adultery or like being an adult. What? What's it say that in the mic? What you mean? I said like cheating on your spouse, adultery mm-hmm. type. Oh, yeah. you think that's great? No. Oh, I mean it was a joke. Yeah. No, I didn't know if we were gonna. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, cheat. <laughs> Fuck it. Shenane, oh my goodness. Anyway, let's move on. All right, we've, we reconciliated. We both were saying wrong shit. We learned from it. That's the whole point of. I think that's the point of being human. How would you learn from a situation? Mm-hmm. So anyway, let's. I'm gonna dive in a little bit and dabble in depression, and I'm gonna talk about clinical and non-clinical, and the macro and micro. So four different type of depression. Not really type. I don't want to say that, but I want to just go and zoom in on everybody here who's been depressed and those who may have had clinical depression, who've taken medication and. What they doing to cope with that even now. You know what I mean? So before we start, I'm, I'm going to end that with you because I know you're going to have a heavy statement to say, sir. I want to bring it to you, though. So you, my friend, Miss <laughs> Casey, <laughs> was there a time where you you feel like you were dep- depressed or you have <laughs> had a form of clinical depression, which means the doctor diagnosed you with that? Like, Facts. <laughs> I'm like, where do I start? Okay, for me, it started in sixth grade. Like, that's when I became, like, clinically depressed. And it's just been that ever since. But I didn't, I can't forget when I started medication, but it's been, it was, like, probably, like, six years ago, and I've been on it ever since. Right, right. And it's, like, oh, I will say, like, I tried to quit it this year, cold turkey, and it didn't end up well. Like, I was just so overwhelmed. I was like, I don't want to be, like, stuck on this, you know? And so I tried to quit it cold turkey, and then the outcome of that was, like, really bad because I guess I've been on it for so long that my, like, body is, like, it's freaky. Like, yeah, to think about that, but, yeah. (laughs) I'm going to skip you, Ted. I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to hear your input on that, sir. Yeah. Um, I've never been, you know, diagnosed with any form of depression or mental illness, but I've definitely felt the the sinking feeling, the uh, the numbness. I feel like it's a great set. Like the numbness part. I, do you feel like everybody felt that before? The numbness oh, yes, part. Sir. Yeah. Um. I feel like everyone feels it to a certain degree, but like my um. Mm, well, she wasn't really my guidance counselor. I talked to her like one time when I was in high school, but like at the time, I wasn't really like open to therapy because I came from like a very Irish Catholic family that just kind of like swept it under the rug and like felt that. Um, yeah, <laughs> felt that. and at like the same time, it was like I'd kind of felt like that my whole life, so I just thought that was how everyone felt. But like a lot of families do that. She I think. she told me something that like I'll always remember and she was like because I was talking to her about numbness and I told her I was like I just feel numb and she's like well if you feel numb to like all this sad shit then you're gonna feel numb to all the happy shit too and like that's kind of that's fast. stuck that's with me the whole true. time so I don't know I guess I would rather like feel something than how do you feel, feel? like robotic how um, do you get to that point like just How would, like so much shit happening. I feel I feel that too. Yeah. Like you were saying, like you wanted to talk about like coping mechanisms. I've learned like for a long like for having depression for a long time that like trying to like keep it in like the crying just or makes just it like worse. yeah, it's probably different yeah. for male and female. I'm not trying to say like females cry more, but like if they do, like I cry. Y'all like, do. I be men like, cry too. They just don't. Yeah, and we show. Sure, we, nah, we I'm a cry by. I try to hold male. it in, but like there are times in your life where maybe you got to cry every day for like a week because mm-hmm. some shit's going down. Like, I don't know. That helps though. That release, like that emotional release, but like always keeping stuff in doesn't help. Right, right. The way that I cope with it though, it's like, you got to think about what's the worst thing that could come out of this? Like this whole situation, death. 
if you're not that's dead, true. He that's, always says that, bro. Like, that's if you're not true. dead, like you can overcome it. But someone argued. Facts. Someone argued. No, no. It's but someone favorite. argued that I can. I can hear some of my friends. You know who you are. Someone argued that if you are alive and you don't feel alive, then dying should be worth it. Like someone argued. I that. felt. Yeah, now, How do you yeah. argue against that concept? Um, you can't. But I mean, you I'm, can. You no, probably no, can. There's yeah, a way yeah. you can argue. It's because, like it comes back to that emotion, like just like him. No offense, like kind of freaking yeah. out the other night. Yeah. Like in that moment when your emotions are so high, like I, I'll literally want to die. But yeah. then ask me an hour from then, you want to die? Fuck no! Like yeah. I want to live. Like <laughs> and then you're like, damn, like I feel yeah, so fucking and then dumb, that's where like, that guilt part comes in. I don't. And the like, thing I can't is, believe I would think this way, but it's out of your control. Sometimes. Right. Right. Honestly, the thing that kept me from like attempting for like a really long time was just and I think someone said it last podcast maybe like Wavy said like uh, he would just think about like ooh, like how his like grandma would feel or like mm-hmm. his yeah. friends his family members and like that kept me for a long time but like I was still holding it in like I didn't go to talk to anyone until I got involuntarily committed for attempting and um uh yeah, so like I I forgot where I was going with it honestly. Like, yeah. Well, let me, let me pick up on what he just said. So one out of six people has a form of depression, and then one out of three is going around walking around, not clinically diagnosed. Yeah, some look of them it don't up, even know. Google, it. go to CDC and look up the information, the statistics. How does how do you think about this? Good reference. How do we actually cope with? Living in the world, which I feel like nowadays, I'm not putting a blanket on it. Yeah, go ahead. I feel like we live in a world nowadays where depression is easy to happen. It yeah. is. Yeah, like sure. that, the, the saying, like, sticks and stones can break my bones with words will never hurt me. But, but after a while, if the words keep hit, like, like so you I start to believe them. You start believing believe that's, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. It's, it's a form of reverse psychology. It's like, Especially I remember, with the technology yeah. and shit. Oh, so you, like, yo, you, didn't, you see a meme or even something. Even your family. Bro, it's beyond. You're like, Ooh, like, it's, so, it's definitely social media. Yeah, I, like, yeah. But think about your family. Hey, hey, you go to your aunt, your mom. You, you say you, you're sad, you feel depressed, you feel down. Oh, boy, shut, shut the fuck up. Go ahead yeah. and wash mm-hmm. the dishes. I, Suck that up. You know what yeah, I mean? Think about Nick, think about yeah. some of that. You know what I mean? And it's like I felt that. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. Do you feel that? Right, yes, right, right. Niggas. Shut the fuck up with all that whining and crying. Take your ass in the room for I tear that ass mm-hmm. up. You know, that's not a way of solving a problem. That's fast. That's, putting a band-aid on a, a faucet leak is not gonna help. Not even a band-aid, <laughs> bro. That's like rubbing some dirt on it and slapping it and be like, right. walk it off. But how nah. do we how do we we were talking earlier about meditation? But that's crazy. And I feel like the world need to meditate more. Mm. Some of the people in the East got that they had that right mindset. That some in the Middle East, some in China, Japan. But what would you Far say East? is like a form of meditation though? Cause like my meditation, for example, is like playing guitar. Like playing guitar for like 30 minutes to like an hour. I'm set. My mind okay. has been clear. You, you 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 what you're doing is a form of so when you do music meditation, it can help you meditate, get your mind in the med- mm-hmm. meditation place. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people actually do it. When you hear people say Om, the hit yeah. that Om represents every vowel there there is. That too. One. Like when I'm playing the resonates. music, I have the bass cranked up on max so I can feel like when I play like the tone of the music has to have a lot of bass so I can feel it like rushing through my body. And you shit. vibrating what's called chakra like do you, everybody have like chakra mm-hmm. network like not the copy naruto all right <laughs> but you do have natural they copy the natural flowing of energy mm-hmm. and when you think about music and how it resonates not not the sound but the vibration you ever right. had like a big bass and you you felt like oh shit felt in your chest you felt in your chest like you're starting to like vibrate yeah, yeah. Like, you hear that yeah. like wait a minute <laughs> and it's Ooh. not it's no longer <laughs> the ear that is resonating it's body. the body yeah. that's resonating it's like Fuck. Whoa. The That's ohm. My mom you hear was people chant the ohm like that. This literally A E O. It's every vowel in one word. It's mm-hmm. ohm sacred. And it's more than 8,000 years old. Look up India verdict verdict text on, on Google. Because I know y'all probably like, what's you talking about? 8,000 years old. Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> but like, I feel like anything that, because like the whole point of meditation. I'm, I'm sure y'all know this, but like the whole point of meditation is to just like have your mind like completely blank. So you're like, you know what I mean? And so like, oh, I yeah. feel like any activity 
like for me as well it's music where i'm because i just think so much but like any activity that just clears your mind where you're not thinking about anything is like meditation that i felt that because i do that with like my photography like developing film is like all you have to do is like no like it's like just you have to focus on like heating of the chemicals and like doing that shit so you can't really think about like other right. stuff. And so it's, it's that's an art in itself. Kind of like yeah. I can say that's a meditation. I don't know, but I'm either. bad at actually meditating. Like I yeah. I always thought I had ADHD before I met, you know, him and he was like, ADHD isn't real, but I that's always had real. a hard time like paying attention and like sitting still and like but I would try to meditate. I just I'm bad at it. I feel like with like traditional meditation different people have to focus on like different things to clear their mind. Like a lot of people do breathing. Like they a focus on their technique. breathing patterns. Yeah. Or like Bruce Lee had that down to a science. Yeah. That like nigga crazy as have, fuck in every no, level. You understand the, have you seen every the breath. Level. If Bro, you understand have, the breath, you can, you could do anything. Have you seen That's that facts. dude that like sits out in like, I don't know where I, all I know is it's, a place that's colder than I would ever like to go to, but he sits out there like naked. Oh yeah, and he has like He's the breathing his patterns. Breath. Yeah, if you control your breath, you could do absolutely. I, I'm not at that level. Nah. I could take a cold shower right now and control my breath, but I can't throw my ass in a cold lake yeah, and control my. Breath. I will say, <laughs> I will say, uh, I noticed when I was young that like if I'm running long distance, I'll oh. notice less like a breathe. I'll go like. <sighs> Oh yeah, that probably sounded no, no, trash. No, no, no. <laughs> trash on my there. Remix that. Sound like he was doing something else. Push it, push it, push it. But nah, what I'm getting at is he's right. First of all, when it comes to running, and you have those endorphins going off. Look, I, I got kicked off the football team. I did track. And I start getting a runner's high from you running. Get kicked off the football yeah. team. It's a long story. Yeah, I ain't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you know, I ain't ready for that. Break but holes. just, but I, I realized I was like, I thought ah, anybody can run. No, 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 no. When you get a runner's high, that is quite brilliant. That's something else. Definitely something else. What do you think about this? I'm gonna bring you in because you're quiet. What do you think about this, sir? I think the runner's high could be a form of meditation. Oh, I think when you really? get to that point of physical exertion, it's like transcending almost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because um, I've been, I was wired different when I first happened. I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I had like, a whole different um, appreciation for people who run long distance. Real talk. Long distance. Long distance. I will say, Pause. like, I don't know. Like you said, your form of meditation is music. I feel like people are like, I won't even say music, just like yeah. guitar. Like yeah, when yeah, I yeah. pick up that string like instrument playing, and I yeah. have like full control of whatever the fuck I want to play. Like, like that shit just hits different. Like yeah, I could play drums cool, like yeah. bass cool, but when I hit like the guitar specifically, like for meditation purposes, that makes sense. Yeah, like that because what you're working with is a frequency. Frequency. Yeah. When you meditate, you hear the arm. That's a frequency. You do your guitar. That's a frequency. When you hear Buddhist monks, when you hear people at synagogues and they chanting, that is a form of meditation, mm-hmm. and they vibrate and they stimulate. The pituitary gland. Look it up. I, I know you like. What are you talking about? Pituitary two I feel, like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people are also able to like get in that like meditative, meditative, meditative mind. State. Yeah, meditative state with like a bunch of different facets. Like my roommate, I told you he's like doing that. He's been like going through his own thing lately, and um, he's like been doing that surf film, um, called Genesis. Beginning, soon. okay, okay. Yeah, nine CW, whatever. Um, Where's it at? Uh, we're gonna premiere it at our place, actually. Um, when? Do like five. Well, it it's tough because his, his the cat spilled his um the cat spilled some water on the oh. computer. Water but change. I, the okay, we were we were able to like extract the the stuff from his hard. We pulled the hard drive before it got to it, and we were able to extract it and put it on an external hard drive. So, um, but he's like also making some like, so he's doing like paintings and like making apparel as well mm-hmm. for it, and like um, it, it, he's gonna sell it all at the premiere, or whatever. It right. it should be in like a couple months, but if you that's want up. info, just go to bring him on the show. Yeah, yeah what's his bro, name? bring him on the show. His name's some art. His name's he's an artist. His name's Hotel. Will. Um, I, what's his, his name, last name. Yeah, his name is Will Ballard. Um, he probably doesn't mind that yes. I name drop him. That's my roommate. Yeah, he probably I, doesn't shout mind. Shout out that. to Will. Will, I, I don't know. 
I know you're not. You're like, what's going on here? <laughs> you artists. If you're artists, I want you. If anybody's an artist, I don't mind you coming on the show. We talk about art. I don't paint, but like, so let's talk about it. Anyways, like when I when I first realized he was like really really going through it, I told him I was like, all right, look, like we're about to go surfing every day. Like you're working on this film. Like you're keeping yourself busy. And um, oh, if you want to check it out, his Instagram for the film is nine cw with three underscores after it. Um, but I yeah, like I don't know. I feel like people are able to have like a lot of things to get them in that meditative mind. Med- yeah, whatever. Meditative in that mind state, that, yeah. right? <laughs> so like when we're surfing, that's like oh, all we're thinking yeah. about, so we don't get like cracked by a wave or mm-hmm. you know stung by a jellyfish or something. You know, what he's doing, what he's what they unconsciously doing is when you meditate and you use the elements, it actually affects your meditation. I meditate better and sound weird in the shower than if I'm not in the shower. I was going to say, just, hey, that hot water hit the back of your just, neck just right there. It's, it's just the water. Nigga, that it shit right there, water. nigga. I sit, I, like I go to the fa- faucet, is that what it's called? The front of the bathroom. Faucet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah faucet. And I sit in like a fetal position and just let the hot yeah. water like run over. That's, that's, that's like meditation. Yeah, bro. I knew this girl that would bring <laughs> like a beach chair into the shower and like just sit in I'm not going to lie, it works though. Like, like, bro. You look up it's the awesome. elements. Like, if you ever go out on to the sand, or not just the sand, go in the forest and take off your shoes and put mm. your feet in the dirt. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. That's ions, energy, nigga. Ion energy does affect the body. What do you know about this, sir? I know you're over there shaking your head. What do you know about this? I just I just know the practical part of it where I've oh, done yeah. that and it's, it works. How, did, it, how, it did the, how do you feel? Like, what, what was, like, do you think you felt different if you didn't do that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's the sensory component of like you're literally feeling the earth and whatever kinds of plant matter is on the ground or the kind of soil that's sitting atop of. Like, it's just a beautiful thing to feel through the soles of your feet. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then right so to your where you soul. So you're taking it now like, with the cover, you got to have that one foot out, but yeah. it's different with two out. So you just put one back in the cover and just that's have that way. bitch. That's one way of looking at it. Bro. Air does affect elemental... Meditation and people are like, what do you mean elements? When you they you, they was just my my homeboy just said earlier about surfing. That's the element is water. When you deal mm-hmm. deal with water, that's a form of meditation. Bro, I feel so at I used home. To love going yeah, to the I used to go to the fucking like, pool all the time. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, especially when you're younger. Like when you're a kid, it's fun. Like I used to not even like bring out a board. I just go out there and like body surfing get cracked mm-hmm. by yeah. waves. Like but, but it's fun it when you're like 12, fun. 13. When we had our fucking apartment and shit, bro, every fucking night, bro, the pool be closed as fuck, bro. Fucking I'll just go out there late as fuck, be eleven o'clock at night. Oh, sick of the fucking, pool. Oh yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, I no, that not even that. Like just like just to like swim and just be in like submerged in water and shit, bro. Like oh, yeah. that shit was like oh, yeah. it just felt time. different. Fuck when Avalon. The cops can't. Don't shout them. Don't. I said fuck throw, Avalon. I know, fuck. Don't throw it out no, like fuck that. them. Fuck y'all niggas. No, I don't give a fuck. Swim in the pool when it was closed. What they gonna do? Anyway, <laughs> they came for our ass one night. And you don't live there no more. They started chasing us. Are you talking about? T- is this the story this, you told me we earlier? We like got split oh, up uh, in the, the middle of the part. night. For like oh yeah, but we had minutes. to dip out. But it was a goddamn. I was drunk as fuck. She's sober as fuck. <laughs> they hop the fence. Yeah, it was like coming at 12 us o'clock. With a flashlight and shit. I'm of drunk course. as fuck. I think it's just the car like pulling up. So I'm like, I'm literally staring there. This nigga is walking. I think it's just the car light. So I'm just. <laughs> I was like, I go, see. Go, go. I turned back. You, she's smack. gone. In your words, would you? No, smack. I wasn't nigga, trying to leave fuck. him. I literally <laughs> was I knew that. Running. Yeah, but I knew like that this. though. That's fine. Like when she this, left, when I saw her leave, and I looked back, I'm like, all right, yeah, I know to do every man for themselves. She yeah, gone, that's so I'm not like, what I tried to do. But no, in my sense, no, I've been there before. So he did though. Yeah, every man for themselves oh, at that no. point. Nah, when well, you see the cops, bro, like, hey, we, we already know we homies. All right, we out. It we go on. Fuck that. Communication. We Miscommun- just got miscommunication. Split the fuck up, but it was scary for both of us. Uh, I was on the ground, bro. Hey, y'all want to hear no, something? I had like... to dip out. I dipped. The fucking cop car was coming. Like, it was driving around, and I saw it. And it was a, a like, a, a bunch of like branches and shit. I like ducked down. Because when I <laughs> looked up, it was a parked <laughs> sheriff car across the street. But I thought somebody was in it. So well, I was let me, like, fuck this. Let me interject on this, though. <laughs> let me interject we made on it this, back, though. <laughs> Do you meditate, sir? I see you shake. I'm just going to ask you a question. <laughs> Do you? Because you shake your head a lot. He I looks make like sure. he in, Yeah, I mean. In Do you do o- open eye or close eye 
meditation? It depends. A lot of the time, closed eye closed for eye. sure. Um, when I'm meditating musically, definitely open eye. To, oh yeah. But but oh, even yo. then, like I'll I'll play guitar with my eyes closed sometimes just for the feeling. Oh yo. Because because <laughs> you feel kind of like badass, you know? Like you're like okay, like I I'm able yeah. to do this without like thinking about it or looking at it, and it kind of just happens. And I think that's, that's like real. a pretty pure form of art and of you know uh, like a spiritual exercise. Um, yeah. Because he's no longer tangible with the music. He becomes the music by closing his eyes. Mm -hmm. It's just like, if you ever like really, really, like if you ever meditate and you forget how long you meditate in, that's the first step of you like vibrating that pituitary gland. Because one time I took a shower and I was like, wait a minute. The shower's hot as hell and now it's cold. But how long was it cold for? Because I don't remember how, the transition. Oh, like, you know what I mean? I don't remember the transition. What the, what the world? I've been in there for like two hours. What the fuck? That shit. That happened to me. Damn, the, yeah. Nigga. The yeah. Fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It happened. Like, I'm just chilling there. Fresh, fresh. Nigga. Fresh, oh, yeah. I have my mojo back. Austin Powers. All the way. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i just like to remind everyone watching to recycle as I throw it in the trash. Recycle. One of the friends of mine, <laughs> when she didn't make the trash can. No, just, no, do recycle. Just, There's definitely a lot of shit going on. For sure. That, the only reason know. we don't recycle is because our city recycling is like fucked up. And you know who you are. Yeah, facts. You know who you are. I'm going to go into detail until that story drop. I'm not going to say it until that story drop. I have friends at WECT and you know who you are. You stupid motherfucker. Shut your mouth. Looking at you, Sappho. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could say stupid motherfucker, but you know. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, man. <laughs> anyway, look, let me go ahead and get out of the, the whole meditation thing. I wanna um I don't wanna end it just yet. Um how's my time going on? Okay, so let me ask you a question. What what else any topics you wanna bring? Do you wanna be I'll bring bring up any topics, especially you? You the sure. quiet one, so I gotta get on you. Is sex a form of meditation? My bad. I and think it could be. So. Sex yeah. can be a form of meditation. I was gonna bring that up earlier, but I didn't want to. I feel like if you're right comfortable now. with the person, no, that's, it is. that's only that's a, only a, if addiction. they can that shit like addiction. cigarettes. It's a that's different such a high. Thing. Thing. I thought you said that's it's like syphilis, bro. Right. Uh, right. Oh hell no. I don't yeah, think it has to be addiction. No, that shit is dopamine. No, it's all dopamine. But it's a way of the sex. Are you having the sex for the lusting or you having the sex for the Tranquility. No, but when and a unification. It, like, it, why are you having it? If it has like a meditative like effect on you, but you're not doing it for the intent of like having to calm down or meditate. Is both parties having that? Is both parties having? Oh, that you're good at it. I don't know. I'm you gotta just... be. Pra look up Karma Sutra. Practice Karma Sutra. <laughs> Y'all laughing. It's quite brilliant. I mean, I have a baby that. now, so it's, I'm doing something right, right? But <laughs> what I'm getting at is practice Karma Sutra. And the breathing technique for men who suffer from ED, stop jacking off, stop watching that pornography, focus on your woman. Stop and, drinking. And no, I drink a lot. Work is work on your breathing technique. And I'm telling you, oh man, and you work on that breathing technique. <laughs> He's like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I never had ED. I'm just saying, when you work on a, anything with breath, if you're gonna go run. Or how to control your breath. You used to do running, right? You did long distance before? Um, I played lacrosse. Oh, so breathing. Relax, bro. Definitely. You get in a breathing. Anybody yeah. understand the breathing technique? You get in your technique in a way. That's why you remind me of my brother. You will Try learn. You will definitely learn. Oh, my. You could do a lot of things. My, my. I won't go into details. <laughs> I need to have nigga. a sex expert here on a, on a podcast to talk about that. You object? You object? Yeah. Why? I'm the king of pussy eating. Bro. Uh, bro. I said Karma Sutra. You the prince. That's, bro. One, that's one situation. I'm the Leave king. Karma Kucha, nigga. Ted, you are the Kucha. prince. Wait, 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 I'm the king, bro. The episode is changing. Hey, fucking nasty. <laughs> the king <laughs> of... Karma Kucha. Hmm. What if I was just yeah. like, I'm the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the fucking queen of all stuff. Is it Karma Kucha? I'm the fucking queen of guzzling cock. Oh, wait. Lizzie Gladiator. Hey, pause. Hold on. I'm saying, see, you don't like... Okay, let me intervene. Let me intervene. Let me intervene. You don't like it. I'm going to cut off that subject like a butter knife. Please. A hot knife through butter. Well, I have something related um about depression and... You know, the union and people coming together, you know, community, right? I think that uh, a lot of the numbness and the sinking feeling comes from 
loneliness. It comes from even if you have people in your life that uh, are supposed to care about you or actually do care about you, they still might not be at the same level in terms of openness. Like you can't you can't talk about your like mental ailments uh, yep. with them. Um, I think it's important to have like a a network of people that you can oh, yeah. discuss that with. Yeah, that's so even hard. a vent. I agree. What you just said yeah, is yeah. a trillion percent. I vent to Aaron every day. I almost killed somebody on the highway. This motherfucker should have moved out the way. Why he's in my way? I'm on my ludicrous. Move, bitch! Like, vent. <laughs> vent. If you have just a... It don't have to be a whole bunch of friends. Have you two, three friends, even one friend, vent. And if you can't... If you can vent a little bit, that actually helps with a lot. Because what you're doing is you actually getting some load off your chest, especially if you suffer from depression, whether if it's clinical or not clinical. You know what I mean? And sometimes you may think, oh, I don't want nobody to judge me. Trust me. That's a lot of people out there who's suppressed. They may not even know it them damn selves. So. Yeah, that's something I wanted to touch on Total. last podcast. I just kind of like forgot my drunk mind. But um, yeah, the yeah, support system is like He's going to come and hang out with Uncle Elroy another day. He's going to act up a, again. The support <laughs> system is like definitely <laughs> a, like a huge, huge part. Because like when I was like, that before that first time I went to the hospital, I just, I felt like I had friends, but it was really only on like the surface level. Cause like all my like really good friends I'd like left, they're like, they're here. And I was in like two hours away at college. And like, I wasn't really talking to Will that much. I mean, I've been best friends with him since like eighth grade. Oh, fuck. We yeah. roomed together in college. And then he got, college changed everything. He's he like, got, <laughs> bro, he got Gosh. mono and like had to drop out. And I feel really bad because I'm the one that gave him mono. Oh, um, don't you get that we, from kissing? We got yeah, it from sharing a jewel. Yeah, you could get it that way the too. The saliva and but the lips, that's, shit, kissing. Yeah. that's part of it. No, nah, I mean honestly, that kid that saved my life. I used to call him like three times a day when I was in the hospital. Um, mm. Shout and, like, out to him, right? I want you to surround yourself with strong friends. You can't just have regular friends. Yeah, that's what I've been. And doing the reason, and, and he's not like a strong friend. The reason is be for being is I see a lot of mob friends who call other people like best friends and they just yes man or they frenemies or they have pretend gestures of admiration or hidden agendas and I'm like you really this man friend like you know what I mean like, the granted, truth will always come out like it's bro. like you know that why are happens. you this man friend and it's like I be seeing like man how they moving is disrespectful you know if somebody's your friend because they get something out of you that's not a friend if they oh, only God. call you because they need something that's not a friend. And let's go with this go for family too. Mm-hmm. But if they are a friend and they legitimately call you, even if they don't feel like it, but they want to make sure you are okay. Whether if you I don't care if they want to make sure you got a pack of socks or a fucking big chicken from McDonald's. Ew. But still, no, add pickles chicken. to that bitch. That shit delicious, bro. I McChicken. Do that. not diss the McChicken. Nah, that, that, that last time pickles. I had a McChicken, that shit was cold. You gotta Fuck have. What? Nah, I want my money back. I don't know what McDonald's you went to. Bro. Bro. I have never cold. gotten a McChicken that did not Any almost burn my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was cold. Nah, man. That big McDonald. Look at the ingredients of McDonald's. I ain't no real chicken. Yeah, Ash. we can't. We're plugging. We're plugging big corporations here. We can't do that. I know. Shit. This is true. DJ, make sure you bleep that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Um. Yeah, you're definitely I yeah, you're right on like the whole like there are a lot of people that call people friends. Oh, I see it all the time. Even with like I have artists who come up here, I'm on, I'm not even on my twentieth episode and they'll be like, Oh yeah, I fuck with such and such. She's a real good friend. And I'll consciously sit back and I see this friend take advantage of them. Yeah. Or they say, you know, and I'm like, damn, do I say like something? something? And I'm like, I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna say something anyway. Like, but I'm grimy. I let everybody know I'm grimy. I can't be a yes man. And so, you know, you just got to make sure you surround yourself with people who vibrate, even if it's stronger than you. I have a lot. All my friend, all my friends, I feel like. For you to be better than yourself, you have to surround yourself with people. How can I say I'm, I'm better than anybody if my own, my own surrounding is not better? Like, my, I can't say I'm rich unless my surrounding is rich. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And when I say rich, not just materialisticness or, or, or fucking money. But rich in the mind and the spirit. Ooh, full time. Like, how do you move in this world? You can't have everybody at the table um, who's not being calculating. What you mean? It's like, yeah. like <laughs> I was about to say, what you mean? It's like, think about full it like time. this. And I know I'm, I'm doing a little bit too, mo- too much. And I'm sorry, I know the time is situated. But what I'm getting at is, you have a lot of people who say they hear 
they're your friend, but they're not moving as your friend. Facts. So you got to make sure you always unconsciously check not just yourself, but them. Mm-hmm. What does it mean always. to be a friend? Mm-hmm. And if you suffer from depression, how does that link up? Because if you Facts, suffer from depression I literally... and yet that friend is not being there for you, and I'm not saying be there for you like, oh, au revoir. Yeah. No, I'm talking to like actually caring, making yeah. sure you are right. Give you some advice here. And Even if it's a small like, advice. The smallest advice could go a mile. Mm-hmm. It's away. something as simple as like Abdel got out of, or I got in Abdel's card today and like we're, I don't know, we're talking for like five minutes and we get up here and I'm like, bro, are you okay? Like, I don't know. He asked, nigga just asked, okay? and when I use nigga, I'm like, are you okay? Nah. He said, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. That's that, what? My producer been plenty of times depressed. I said, Aaron, calm your ass down. You got a whole bachelor degree. You out here swimming in pussy. You out here doing things you gotta be doing. You okay, what? You're talented. <laughs> the nigga's talented, bro. I said, you, you're a triple threat. He, he make produce, all this shit work right he now, rap, bro. He makes a master. That's not mm-hmm. like a triple threat to me. Play the saxophone a little bit. You play sax, nigga? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> nah, <laughs> nigga, like, back in the day. He, he, nah, he nigga, nigga you got to bring that back, back, back to the reality. Day. I'm putting my own nigga on front life. street. He's my producer. He is my producer. And the thing is, and that, if you have a friend in your corner, stick by them. You may not agree with everything. I don't agree with everything. Aaron. Aaron literally said uh, Attack on Titan is the best anime. Fuck no. Who said that? You said that? It's right, pop- right, okay, right. top five. Yeah, I'll let, right. I'll let yeah. that fly. I'll let that fly. <laughs> but the thing is, he's still a friend. We may not agree on everything and that's what a friend is. It start off with acquaintance, then you become friends. You have a lot of acquaintances, but when you had that friend, keep them. You know what I mean? So, what do you Shout think about my boy Jack, boy? Hmm. You the quietest one, so I gotta, I gotta bring you, I gotta bring you, I gotta hook you sure. up. We on your ass, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? Um, I think it also is helpful, uh, to be that kind of person for like your network, for your group of friends, because like, yeah, you, like each individual person has to rely on, um, you know others from time to time when it comes to, you know, hardships. But I think, uh, you know, your friends are also dealing with hardships at, all the time. Oh, yeah. there, there isn't a day that goes by without some bullshit. Oh, so always some bullshit. There's always some bullshit. Especially these days. Especially on a Monday for me. That's why, like, <laughs> <laughs> During a pandemic. It's always, it's always a Monday. Like, for me, it's a Monday. I almost killed somebody on the highway because the dude don't know how to drive. Anyway, yeah, I, I agree with you. Definitely a billion percent. Do y'all go through seasonal depression? I won't even say depression, but... Your your mood just switches. Yeah, yep, definitely. Yeah. It, 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 well, uh, even if you don't think it happened, it happens. Because it's scientifically proven that it happens. When I was up right. in around this time, I don't I noticed think even that. from I high school days. I think a big part of it is not think about it, but your, your mood, your that, whole that body, goes a long everything way, yeah. because of the weather, all that shit can. Like, okay, I will say because your... when I go to Boston, I fear depression more because I think okay. I'm gonna be depressed and I'm gonna be cold as fuck. Yeah. Like um, and I think being in a city too, because it's just like tall brick buildings, right. like. And we're not talking about a town like Wilmington. We're talking about a real city. Continue yeah, this. that <laughs> combined with the cold, I guess, and like growing up here and not really having seasons, and then going like. We got see well. We got seasons. I'll well, say seasons like every I'll day. Say, a season is not like, a season. A season go per day. Compared You're to Miami, have winter, we got winter seasons, one day, bro. summer the next day, Facts. fall the next Facts. day, back to winter, back to summer. Like nah, I it's not. I think it really depends season. on where you. What was live? today? Yeah. What was today? But uh, summer Monday? and winter. Summer and winter. Yeah. Well, no fall. Winter. winter. Fall and winter. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it was definitely yeah. Was it? It wasn't hot winter like a Phineas and Ferb thing. No, it was fucking frozen. Don't ask me why. Frozen. Know that? Yeah. (laughs) It was like mid warm, and then it got cold. I ain't never seen frozen. Nah, this is on Phineas and Ferb. I swear to God. Oh, Oh, winter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oh my God, I'm getting all my kids' shit mixed up. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, it's definitely not frozen. I only know that because my son. You gotta be it's the TV situation. I'm really trying to like not make sure my son watches much TV. That's for another episode. But anyway, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> hey yo <laughs> You already listened to some Quietness music, caught the room But before we end <laughs> this episode talk. We definitely gonna have some music on there I wanna end it on this Um, Anybody got any questions They wanna input on before we end I'm gonna throw that out there Um, Do you think that More people 
became depressed because of the pandemic? Or was it that more people realized that they had depression because of being isolated and because of this yes, global that's issue? Definitely, yeah, question. number two is I'm going to say both. both. Yeah, I'm gonna say that both you, for because sure. you, though, that shit here. I wonder different. the same shit. It's situational, and it's like for me, I still was working throughout the whole pandemic. Shout out to yeah. all my people who's driving eighteen wheelers. You're still working. I know who you are. Fuck that. <laughs> but <laughs> but that nigga, I do nigga. see that. I was watching on a lot of news, and. We are in the information crisis. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I see Fox News one day, and the same day, I look at CNN, and it's like two separate yeah, sort of God. points of, of view. Oh, and what's, bullshit. Oh, yeah. And it was causing this separationalism on a macro point of view. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I think it's, it's on purpose, I don't think it's by accident. I don't it's even think purpose. it's coincidence. I think it's having to do with separational uh, situations on purpose based on the government. And I won't go into detail what I know because I will be monetized and or canceled. But you can YouTube, I mean, you could Google the information on separationalism on the government level. And tell me what you think. Leave a comment on that. If y'all could fight one celebrity, who would it be? Mine is Pete Davidson because my girlfriend that's a thinks great he's question. cute. Yeah, Pete that's Davidson. A, what, that came out of you nowhere. The, you got the vibe of Pete that's Davidson. That's so though. funny. You got like yeah, Pete you Davidson vibes, give me Pete man. Davidson I know. That's vibes. why I want to fight him. There can only be one, bro. <laughs> no, I, him, <laughs> him and Timothy Chalamet because when my hair was like... Fuck Timothy Chalamet. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Hey, go ahead. Bro, bro honestly, you know honestly, honestly segment, hold up. I was finna call out. Raw. I was finna call out Jake Paul, but I seen how he's been boxing lately and I do not want to fight him. Like... I don't Jay know. I never thought about that. Who you do you want to J- fight? Who do you, you want to fight? You said Jake Paul. No, Joel that's what Osteen. He said. Oh, de- de- fuck no! I said like Osteen. Oh, Colin. Said, that's all. No, not Colin. Conor Kaepernick. McGregor. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, he's, he's about to. Fl- uh, in Logan Paul about to fight Floyd Mayweather. I heard about some bullshit. Yeah, bro. Like they, that. They, it's an exhibition, but it's. I think it's like a. I don't know. There was like a rumor that they're gonna have like a no knockout clause, but Floyd's <laughs> just gonna win from points anyways. Because that's what he Floyd does. Floyd so. wins from points from the defense. That's shoulder roll or something. If I had to pick somebody. And Woos, I know you're going to get mad. I will fight Art fucking Kelly. <laughs> Art Ke- when a woman but I just watched up, Boondocks uh, last night, nigga, that Art Kelly episode. <laughs> nigga, I don't know. Yo. I'll fight that nigga. Why? Because he act like a bitch. You know the damn well you've been putting your hands oh, on Oh, and woman. Drake. Actually, I really want to fight Drake. Damn, we need to fight Drake? Drake's a bitch, bro. I'm just saying. You I don't I don't like how Drake, it. like, pretend. Like, he literally has a song called Started From The Bottom when he quite literally did not start from the bottom, bro. Maybe he started from the, the bottom when it came to that show. Degrassi. Degrassi. I mean, he, he, no, he, he, he was in the chair, down nigga. He, 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 yeah, he, he was in the wheelchair, bro. Really yeah. did. Started, yo. I mean, do you think, how much he got Started paid in the grassy? Look it up, Google it. Do you think? And I'm not defending Drake. I'm just saying, I know some people like, I, only reason I, I like Pusha T, so I, I'm a Pusha Thanos fan. Bro, he brought, but even before Degrassi, he grew up like upper middle class, upper class in the suburbs of Toronto. Yeah. I'm about to look up how much he made. I, exactly. How old at, was he when he I don't know. Degrassi? I don't know. That's why I'm not dumb dying. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only person I would fight R. Kelly. I just feel like he's just doing the most. Wolves, made, I know what the fuck you're thinking. Tim, that's my nigga. But you know what? When a nigga fed up, and ain't nothing you can do about it, it's like running out of life. All right. It said the actors get paid at least. Oh, this is the new Degrassi. Hold on. He's still Fuck making money Degrassi. from Degrassi, oh, of course, bro. Oh, of course, he's still making money. It's still got... They want to see Drake in the wheelchair. Ain't no one. Bro, do you know how much of them fuckers from Friends made in like the last few seasons? The, well, Seinfeld himself... Well, I, I need to say Friends. I'm sorry. I got that totally mixed up. No, you said... You, Similar you, kind you of... You said Friends. But the, no, Seinfeld is a billionaire from a show. You said a billionaire? Yes. From Seinfeld? From Seinfeld. I don't even watch Seinfeld. Seinfeld made it. Got my it, money. Says, it says, about, a it says about 2K per episode. That's crazy. Oh, damn. Yeah. Back in the day? Yeah. We had enough to buy his mama yeah. house. I mean, this is also on r slash Degrassi. Right, right, right. So, so yeah. I, I don't per know. episode, nigga. That's not bad, actually. Nigga, yeah. Especially nigga, if you do five red, episodes nigga. a week. He's talking about 2K TV? No, oh, I my bad. Oh, 2K money. per episode. How much of them 2K TV, guys? Do not give me the lie. Google. Google. But um, anybody want to 
Nah, nah, any nah. I want to hear everybody goddamn <laughs> answer to I mean, this I shit, I beat the bro. shit out of R. Kelly. Like, that whole, dude, I'm, I'm you fucked Aaliyah. That was my life. Bro, it got to be between Soulja Boy or Chris Brown for Ooh, me, bro. Bro, Soulja Boy's already, like, gotten shit on so much, though. Like, I go lie, what's it going to do? I can't get mad at Soulja Boy. Because I remember Not I was because that of dude, that shit that happened. I forgot all about that whole do? time. I was that dude doing the, yo, mm, Mm-hmm. Nigga got Soldier Boy tell Soldier Boy up in this. I mean Ooh. leaning there. Oh, oh, <laughs> like, oh. Dude, I, back in the day, I, I was like freshman in high school. What? Soldier Damn. Boy is killing that MySpace. I was in the third grade. Yeah, I think, yeah, because yeah, I remember it was still. It was still like, I remember very, being at the YMCA after school program school? and like no, us like learning it. I was like, a middle school. I was a middle school. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Wait, who are you trying to fight? To Chris Brown or Soldier Boy? Oh yeah, probably Chris Brown. Oh, really? Word. Okay, yeah. Chris. Yeah. He outdance you. That's what, bro. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> he he can do a back flip, but he can't outdance me. No, I'm playing. I'm I'm no, cap it. I'm cap it. Hardest cap. Beyond cap, man. I don't know. Hey. If you got dance hey, with Chris Brown, Brown, if you watching this right now, <laughs> nigga. Hey, meet a me at Goddamn cafe. Guitar Guitar Hero by. Nah, it's over, bro. Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero. Yeah, nigga. Hero? I could be anybody oh, in Guitar Hero, bro. I put that on my life. I don't know about that. I'm a, I don't know about right. that. I'm Who you got your money on? Can you do that free bird on my expert 100. percent yeah, I'm gonna be I'm nigga. Gonna be I'm on expert mode, bro. But you don't get the fire and flames, I'm nigga. Gonna, I'm gonna bring you somebody. Give me give me a week. Guitar Hero episode. You said a week. Soon. Hey. I have somebody, and not me. Ooh. I have somebody. I'm I know who. I'm on my Don King. Ooh. I'm gonna bring you a Mike Tyson. Say less. Say less. He done fucked up. Fucked up, nigga. I'm God. A Guitar Hero. Guitar God. Oh, hell, that he, guitar hero, he, he, not not regular Narky, guitar. Narky. No, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> like, I trained, God. nigga. That was the only game I played beside Need for Speed, Aaron, bro. You were the only That's man all I played all day, all night. Drinks I'm not even joking. I don't think you're ready for the press on my brain. Like, nigga, who? God. Respect. I, I drink them all the time too. No, like, no, you gotta respect. say. Why you got No, 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 no. Because I'm gonna be surprised. Well, it don't matter. Because I'm. You ever tried beer bong in one of those? I want like a whole one. Respect on my name, like Birdman. All right, you no for that. I give it to you like Vin Diesel, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I have a video. I'll show you later. I got like halfway through, and I was like, why? I right the past podcast. Shout out to my people who follow religions because I feel like religion does create division, but but the positive end, the macro positive end, is it creates self discipline and peace. Mm-hmm. If you follow your religion, you follow peace. The real followers, not the radicals, oh, not the um. The extreme Christian. I had one person said, Tim, you're not Christian. You got a podcast and you're fucking cursing. But you said fucking cursing. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is off the you. podcast and you're saying you're Christian. I didn't say I was Christian. Is cursing even a sin or is it just taking the Lord's name in vain? I don't know. Let that sink That's in. if you say God damn. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Is it like, is all cursing a sin? Or is it like not, just where you take the Lord's name in vain? I'm not no Christian. I'm not, bro. That don't got nothing. To, I said it and I don't. Nah, bro. I'm, nah. One can argue when the when Jesus himself. I didn't say y'all earth. didn't say God damn. He never I said, said it. this is Christianity. Jesus, God Almighty. He said to get to me, but to get to God, he got to get through me. I mean, am if I, you say God damn in any religion, am I wrong? Google. Oh damn. Oh, look it up in the Bible. L. Where is hmm. it at? I'm gonna take that L. Well, <laughs> I'm not a Christian, so I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> religion is important, though. I feel like, in a sense, because it helps people. It's like a. It's like you ever get a car with the little manual and they tell you Wait, how to use how it. How that shit go? What? <laughs> Shut the front we door. Give us this Lord our daily oh, bread. G- oh no! Give you, us oh my God! Don't say oh, no, we no. no, 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 we no, we like, be Jesus like that, bro. Up, on the, you should uh, know. No, I'm saying I grew up in the church. No, nah, you started laughing this shit, bro. Because <laughs> nah. I had to learn that shit. Like, every <laughs> Damn day. Welcome to the club, bro. Every Easter nigga I had to go up on stage, nigga. Goddamn, well, with the poem and shit. I was Fuck asking the way. The reason I was asking because I didn't know. I thought that was just like the, like a certain religion, like Catholic or something. Or is that like? I, 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 I love people who like be okay, in wait, a religion but it, don't judge people. Isn't yeah, that, yeah. Isn't that's that, a big difference. Who is you to judge? Facts. That's how it is with me wait. and Jack, bro. That he's. Pure Christian, Casey. Isn't I'm it? not in that element, the but one, I respect everything he has our to Father say Lord about heaven. How will be thy name? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, give us this oh, day our daily bread and forgive us for trespasses. As we, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. What the fuck? Us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh, for thine is the kingdom. Y'all need to do them copyrights at the end of commercials whole time. This wasn't because I had it in my notes because when I was pledging, we had to like say it. 
Uh, like, yeah. uh, whatever. But that's not. She knows a, the Catholic one. That's like the like Protestant one or Protestant, something. Yeah. yeah. So they're like a little well, bit different. Well, I didn't know it's like like everyone had. That. It's a, I can't remember what that one's called. It's like and I forget what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So you're um, Catholic or Protestant? I'm Catholic. Catholic, you're. Yeah. I grew up Catholic, but then I stopped going to church because it was just like too like it was forced. Like I like I had to learn all the shit, and then I was sitting down, and I just like want to understand what was going on. Shout out K- to my people who still like religious, like but not judgy. Casey, yeah. are you? Uh, are yeah. you? You said you're Irish. Yeah. Yeah. Part you from Northern Ireland or Republic? Know. Oh, true. No, it's just because <laughs> a lot of people don't know. So it's like two separate countries. Irish. Oh I'm yeah, two Irish separate. Italian. That Irish war was serious. Was yeah. We're, so like my family, that was very. My serious. family were Catholics from Belfast. Fact, yeah. <laughs> um, so like. That was like the group that made up the IRA, and like that's like most of the reason they came here is because like the English soldiers were just just like kicking your door and like beat the shit out of you because you're Catholic, and like there's still like a group of people that want like Northern Ireland reunified. Oh um, yeah, what, so like, what do you think about and starting to check that Brexit, Bre- Brexit, Brexit, am I saying Brexit? that right? Brexit. What do you think about that? Um. I don't really give a fuck. I don't live in England. Honestly. Right, right. So it doesn't. I, really I don't you. give a shit. Yeah, they can. They, well, they. It was like they left the U. No, they left the European, European Union. Union. Yeah, no, I don't give a fuck. Which mean they economy changes. Actually, I kind of do because that affects Northern Ireland. But it affects both. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't care. But like, we'll the thing, the reason they haven't, I, in my opinion, the reason they haven't been reunified is because Northern Ireland is like majority Protestant, since that's a part that's owned by the UK. And then Republic is majority Catholic. And so, like, the Protestants in Northern are afraid that, like, when they merge, they're going to be in, like, the minority. Because the shit's still, like, de jour, de jour de facto segregated. That's still... De jour. De jour, yeah. Um, de jour, like, no. the, like, the Catholics and Protestants Peaceful. in Northern Ireland, like, they live in different neighborhoods. They go to different schools. Like, they really... Like, it's a very, lot of them do very, not intermingle, like, at all. Do you, you feel like it, it lacks... They, they like still coming together since the Great War of Ireland. Since the Troubles? Yeah. Um, I think the majority of people there don't really give a shit anymore, but there's definitely like... The old heads. Like, like my family gives a shit. Right, right. Um, the, not my... Pretty much everyone except like... Like my... Immediate, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but like, there's a lot of us that still live in Belfast. Right. Look up Ireland last Great War. You will understand. Um, last Civil War. That shit was yeah, no, really bad. Um, that shit was really bad. Yeah, yeah I understand. There's some both just, sides did fucked up things. Most, yeah, I'll, I'll be yeah. fair. Both sides, but England, in my opinion, did way more fucked up things because oh, most of, of the IRA's actions were like retaliation for what they did originally. I mean, look, the Irish be with you. I mean, it's big, the way my dad explained it to me. It's it's like, how would you feel if like the English came to Maryland and they're like, all right, this is ours now. Like you'd fight, that's right? That's literally you got to fight, right? Yeah. Right. That's literally yeah. That's facts. That's facts. That's some United Nations type shit. Y'all don't Google. Y'all think we lying and shit? Anybody else got anything to say before we wrap this up and turn this into a music show? How not no. like that, you old nasty perv. You gotta keep it in a I'm not just a beatboxer. I'm not a beatboxer. <laughs> this is Great Apes Cafe. If you have anything to say about this episode, leave a comment, like, sure. subscribe, share. And who's going to be playing before I introduce the music? Um, I'm going to let Ted rip. Ted Him and Abdel don't get to play as often as me and Abdel do. And Ted also rips and harder Abdel. than me. And I, I feel like he deserves this more. What the fuck? No, I don't deserve shit. You've been playing way longer, and you had like I don't I don't have anything to like plug music wise. You do. Um, fact. I, I mean, to Jack, what he just said is ninety five percent incorrect. Thank the you. The motherfucker was playing yesterday, and I was snapping when I was freestyling, and I came to the understa- understanding that this nigga got the juice and perhaps the cow, juice. which means he got the source of the milk, which means he got the farm. <laughs> I don't want to hear My that. mom owns a farm, actually. <laughs> there you go. Really? See, there you go. <laughs> White motherfucker. Oh, literally. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have. Where like, are they? They're in, it's in like uh, Redlands near Homestead in Florida. Damn it. Yeah. And no wonder he acted crazy. I wanted my this. nigga from Florida. <laughs> Shout out to my Florians. Nah, I hate Florida. I live, there. I live there for like a year and a half. Fuck. You didn't Florida, like it? Dude. You didn't like it? Fuck no. Shout out to Miami. 
Shout out Winston Salem. Shout out to Daytona. Shout uh, out Trey Fowler. No, my ex is from Winston. Trey, Trey I'm from Winston's, bro. Uh, Shout nah. out to my Carolina. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep. Nah, I'm gonna keep my. State Shout out Texas <laughs> Pete hot sauce. Facts. Texas oh! Pepsi. Texas Pete and, and my Chris wife Paul just brought some shit like that. Some Texas Pete today. Shut the front from door. Aldi. And sriracha. Can't go. We Texas Pete sriracha. Uh, 